one on the International Women's Day. Let us recognize and honor the remarkable contribution of the women in the technology industry. Together, we create an environment that embraces the diversity and foster inclusivity. Our esteemed guest today is a prominent voice in the tech community. So let me provide her the platform she deserved. And I take a moment to welcome Pillow. She is a Microsoft MVP in the business application category, and I would request if she can provide her introductions to the audience today, and then we will start the conversation afterward. So over to you, Pillow. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to thank you uh, for the invite me in this perfect um, Women's Day recording. I'm very glad to be here and considered as a precious woman, <laughs> as all we do. So uh, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Bido Shamdan Jolu. I've been in this uh, business till 2004. So this year I will be having my 20th year in September. I'm an MVP on biz apps. I'm an MCT also, a certified solution architect and Dynamics super user. So um, I love what I do. I love Dynamics. I have always been a fan, uh, starting from 3.0. So I've seen almost every bit of it. And um, very happy to be here today. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the short intro, uh, Bilu. And uh, then maybe I could ask the questions around. Um, the first thing, how your typical day look like? My typical day, I'm married and I have a child uh, who is uh, 12 years old. So I wake up first and wake him up when my husband starts uh, making out breakfast. So I wake him up, we have our breakfast and I walk with him to the bus stop. And when okay. I'm going back, from that bus stop, start looking at my emails from the Dynamics community, of course, and reply as much as questions that I can. And if I cannot, I start learning what they're about. So my day starts with Dynamics and I come home. And while I'm not working these days, I have not yet found my project. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm fully doing my community work. I start looking on the LinkedIn, uh, looking what's new, what can be, um, what can I watch in the videos. I go to learn and learn about what else that I can know of. You know, there are thousands of pages that we can learn. If there is an event uh, planned for that day, like uh, in Power Platform or Venus Community, uh, I try to attend, and if I have a training, I prepare for my trainings as an MCT. If not, and if I have any other meetings, for example, I have in the 8th of March uh, with the Dynamics 365 user group Middle East, I prepare for uh, those meetups. So this is basically how my work is. And then in the end, when it's 6 or 7, I closed up and then try to learn German language and then prepare food and then just watch some videos. And of course, this is how a daily work routine is for me, except for the weekends. On the weekends, of course, I just <laughs> do whatever I can do if there's not an event uh, for the weekends as well, for the dynamics. Yeah, wonderful. Learning German is is um, is fun. Uh, even ish learning Ch uh, Deutsch auch. Uh, but yeah, um, you know it's it's so fun. Like you have a different levels, and you need a lot of dedication there, especially the grammatic part, and you know a lot of practices involved there. So fortunately, um, we were uh, we are into into Germany, so it's probably quite easy to find the environment around you with your colleagues, with your family, with your neighbors or something. But yeah, uh, that's that's really uh, interesting. And uh, uh, 
one thing uh, I would like to know, like um, if you can tell us about your journey as a Microsoft MVP, because you have been honored as a Microsoft MVP. And um, do you feel that there is a kind of additional responsibilities or uh, additional access you have towards to the community? Uh, any any kind of, uh, you know, uh, if you if you would like to share something around that corner. Uh, after 18 years in this sector that I was just feeling that I want more, you know, uh, I'm not talking about being an MVP. I just want to help others than my customers. I always helped uh, my colleagues, but I wanted more. So I started looking out for an environment that I can help. So I found Dynamics community. I know that the Dynamics uh, 365 community is there because when I was a junior, I was looking out solutions in there and there was Andre always or Ludwig, mm -hmm. as we all know. And one day while I was reading those answers that I say that, yes, I can reply these as well because I have mm -hmm. that. Uh, training already after all mm -hmm. those years. So yeah. I started replying. Then, you know, I've always been a fan of Ludwig and Andre. Uh, I've messaged to Andre and say that what is being required to be an MVP? Back then, I didn't know mm -hmm. what an MVP is. Okay. What I thought an MP, MVP is that someone who is very good at what he does or she does. And basically it is, but it's not the all. And Andrea told me what it takes to be an MVP. It means the community work, which I already started. Mm -hmm. So I was helping the community and I was already been reading, uh, writing my blogs. And he told me what else that I can do. So I said, okay, and try to give more. And one day, uh, Kelly Gustafson from uh, USA uh, mm -hmm. reach out to me and say that uh, she is also a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> woman say and say that he would she would like to nominate me and I say yeah okay all right <laughs> let's give it a try and then um, after the uh, really really hard nominations I've become an MVP and. When she first offered me an, uh, this offer, I was back then in Turkey, I was just hoping in the ha home and saying like, hey, it's a good thing. And then after I become an MVP, you know that uh, big responsibility comes with a big success. So uh, the responsibilities arise, of course, that I'm trying to give more for my community and mm -hmm. um, when you are an MVP yes uh, there's big responsibility uh, but also you have um, a lot of things going around in learning paths that you can have the chance to uh, communicate with the ones that really know what uh, yeah. they are doing so uh, well, uh, it's also good for me to learn and to be with them and um, reach out easily. So. Okay, wonderful journey. And um, then on that note, uh, what advice or the tips you would like to share with aspiring women, especially in the technology field? Uh, being a woman is not an easy job. I know that because you have to be a girlfriend, you have to be a wife, you have to be a mom, you have to be a housewife, you clean, you cook, you do everything that you do. And we are very sensitive and uh, we give more than we take to the world, honestly speaking. So what I can offer is that, uh, unfortunately, as far as I see still, there's not too much woman in the tech world, even if I know very successful women and uh, do it all. Uh, we still need more women, you know, because women always add value to the work that has been done. 
and of course with beauty. So what I would say is that while you're doing what you do in your life, please do take care of yourself. Um, prepare and organize your day because for a woman it's always a rush. If you have a child, if you are mm -hmm. married and you have a house that you have to take care of, but don't forget that you have to feed yourself as well. Not just I'm saying as a food, but you have to feed yourself uh, with knowledge. So you have to learn at least um, separate yourself like 30 minutes a day to learn and improve. And when you improve uh, yourself, you will be able to also support the others to improve themselves. So I think if we are talking about the woman, it's very important that um, we have to be in the same page as the men. Um, I'm not talking about any positive discrimination yeah. because mm -hmm. the discrimination is also a discrimination. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about to be in the same page. I remember my first days, uh, when I started, it was my first business day and we fly to the customer and there was just like five men and I just me and they started talking about in the uh, evening about their days, their humor on the uh, mm -hmm. days on the um, when they were soldiers, you know, <laughs> Okay. because in Turkey it's mandatory that you have to go to be a soldier for like mm -hmm. six or a year and etc and okay. i was like, what they are talking about <laughs> so this is what it feels like when you are the only woman in in a man's world but i think it was like 20 years ago so these days i see in the tech um, community there are lots of women that adds value with their Thank you. Oh. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Bello, for sharing your insight. And um, I'm confident that this conversation will inspire and guide other women to uh, achieving their full potential, into, especially into the technical community. And um, on that note, uh, again, like uh, we are almost at the end of our conversation for today. So thank you again. Um, and I'm really glad, to, uh, Bello, to, to, you know, to be uh, that you are to be our graceful guest today and all of the viewers so um, i would request to please subscribe the channel for the more content like this or around business application or power platform and as we continue our journey towards uh, inclusivity and uh, empowerment each step contribute to a brighter future um, you know for the women in tech industry and i wish you um, and um, everyone, happy International Women's Day. And that's all for today. Thank you so much. And we are signing off for now. So thank you. Thank you so much.